Hey guys, welcome to week three of Hegg's Dynasty. Last week you saw we suffered an emotional loss to TCU, the number 16th ranked team in the nation. I thought it was going to be a must win for us if we're going to set a statement in the Big 12 that we were going to be contender at the end. But the last week's last week and this week we have Ball State on the schedule. We need to shut down Travis Freeman if we're going to keep ourselves from falling into a 1-2 and two hole. That is going to be something that would be very hard to come back with from the polls. And even uh, the players emotional-wise, it's not good to start off a season bad or end a season bad. But you know what? It's a new week. We're going to breathe new life into this football team. And we're going to come out here, and I think we're going to come out here firing. we got Keystone State, Ball State coming up right now. First play you see here after a three and out. Free safety Rocky Jensen is going to scream down the field and pop junior wide receiver Jamel Smith. That is going to be a big motivational factor right there to seeing how hard people are going to be working on special teams. Next play we have here. Junior quarterback Keith Winning from Ball State is going to play action it and tries to bomb it to junior wide receiver Connor Ryan. But Desmond Davis is going to come up with a big interception in the end zone. If that would have went the other way, that would be Big to be down 7 nothing at the beginning of the game. But you know what? The junior corner comes up big for his second interception of the year. And this one is a big one. Saving a touchdown pass here. As you can see, it just throwing a double coverage. Wide receiver went for the jump ball. And in the midst of fighting for it, got shoved out of the way. Next play you're going to see here. Winning's going to drop back. And his pass is jumped by the strong safety, Thad Frazier. And he's going to take that to the house for his first pick of the year and his first pick six of the year. Now you're going to see this was very well played by Fraser just outran the wide receiver and just won the ball more than the receiver did. And you're going to see here he's got wide open space and he's going to take that back for six and that's going to make it a seven nothing game. It's always to me it's always a great thing when you come out and get the first score. As you see, the team is just pumped by that, and they're looking to capitalize it. And, you know, after a three and out by Keystone State, Wenning's going to try the option, but Phil Gundy hits him and is actually eventually taken down. That's a middle linebacker, Gary Powell, will get credit for that tackle. And after a Ball State punt, Tyreek Hopkins is going to try that bubble screen right here. And he's going to get picked off by a junior cornerback for Ball State, Jeff Garrett. Now 7 nothing game in the fourth quarter, 4.57 to go. And, Mit, and sorry, Mitch Strokes is going to hit the 36-yard field goal and make it a 10 nothing game. Always great to make it a two-score game just in case something would happen. Like you will see here, again, late in the fourth quarter, Wedding is going to just hook up with Jack Tomlinson from the 35 yard line for a touchdown blowing cover to uh, defense and he just picks on it he knows the corner is going to be uh, kind of sitting waiting for the halfback or tight end to come over the middle of the safety supposed to be over the top covering it and he just didn't get over quick enough but you know what Keystone State would hang on to it it's a 10 nothing win I would have loved to see us blow this team out. It uh, Overall, we have a better team, but just because you're better doesn't mean you're going to win by a dominating fashion every time. And again, Thad Frazier's pick six to make it a 7 nothing game is huge, and that is why it is the play of the game. Now, it's great to come back from the loss of TCU and come back and make it a 2-1 overall record. We have a very tough game next week, though. It's going to be something that uh, we'll be kind of showing how we're going to finish out the season against number 17, Texas. It kind of sucks going two out of the last three games to be against uh, pretty good ranked schools in the uh, polls. But you know what? If we can at least split games with it, we might be able to... Uh, salvage our chances of making it into a BCS Bowl, but that game for sure is going to be a must win if we don't want to fall to 2-2. Two and two. And again, here we go We got that uh, winning touchdown pass is another one of the highlights of the games. It was a very good thrown ball, but again, it was just more about blown coverage than anything. See here, some of the pictures from the games, you got 
uh, Davis's and his Frazier's pick six. Found the lineman there celebrating a score, and <laughs> it's kind of hard to see, but that uh, was us getting scored on there. Uh, like I said, we got Texas coming up next. It's going to be a tough game, and I hope you guys are actually back to watch it. If you haven't subscribed, I hope you guys pl do so. Thanks.